Often when fishing for native fish like Murray Cod, Sooty Grunter, Golden Perch, Australian Bass, even Saratoga, you'll often get a strike and uh, not get a solid hookup. And that's usually caused by uh, the fish will uh, strike the spinnerbait and that's what it's done its job. But uh, they'll often hit the skirt, they'll often short strike down here and uh, miss that all important hook. So what's needed is a, uh, another hook arrangement that's going to sit down there nicely in the skirt and um, turn those short strikes into a solid hookup. That in mind, some spinnerbait manufacturers actually give you a uh, will give you a stinger hook already fitted, but they're often very poorly attached. Um, they're not giving you a a nice solid um, arrangement there where the, the hook sits in place. They'll flop all over the place and uh, often um, makes them uh, grab snags or they'll twist around and foul up. What's needed is an arrangement similar to what we've done here where that stinger hook sits nicely at the end of the skirt. It doesn't fall over no matter what you do with it, doesn't matter how you cast it and even if it bangs on a snag it will flick back in place. And what I commonly use is a length of air tube uh, which you can get from an aquarium store or a pet shop. They use that for the air stones on the uh, fish tanks. Uh, it costs you about a dollar a metre. For there's a there's a really good one, uh, which is a silicon base. There's also a cheaper plastic one. Silicon base one's definitely better. And um, but for about two centim two centimetres worth of that, uh, you get about fifty uh, spinner baits to a to a metre. So about two cents a spinner bait. Now how I fit those is uh, I cut the tube into about two centimetre lengths. I take the hook and in this case I'm using uh, saltwater fly hooks. Uh, they work really really well. Nice good eye on them and it fits firmly, nice and snug inside that air tube. And I take my standard spinner bait that doesn't have a stinger on it and all I do is simply thread the end of that tube over the main hook until I get to the eye of the stinger hook. Pick the eye up and simply pop that main hook out the side of the tube once I get the eye pop it out and there we have our stinger hook arrangement and that's going to sit there nicely and it won't flop all over the place and it's certainly uh, going to improve your hookup ratio if you have a look at where that is now sitting with that skirt it's sitting right in the end of the skirt so any short strike you're definitely going to uh, come up solid on a fish. Now to show you that again up close, there's our standard spinner bait. We take our air hose, just a couple of centimetres of it. There it is there. Insert our stinger hook. Get the eye about halfway up. And we take our spinner bait and we face the hook the same direction as the hook on the spinner bait and we insert the tube over the end of the main hook on the spinner bait until we get to the eye of our stinger hook and then we're going to pick up the eye of the stinger hook and then we're just going to pop that main hook out through the side of the tube making sure we've got the eye of the stinger and there we have our arrangement and it's on there nice and tight. This fishing tip was brought to you by sweetwaterfishing.com.au